Yes, so let's bring up Mr. Marty, Marty Shaver. Yep. Thanks. I appreciate you being here. And you're going to kill it. And I'm really excited to learn more about you. Thanks, Marty. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so Marty Shaver, I'm the chief. And we've got people online, too. Uh, yeah, Possibly. I'm the chief distribution officer for Ethos. I'm the old insurance guy. So I've been at this 28 years. I started as an agent. Um, it's funny. Um, first off, uh, everybody in here is incredibly lucky. I've met tens of thousands of agents in my time. You know, I've managed to run companies, run distribution. Um, you know, it's a uniform. But, but the thing that that I appreciate Steve listening to talk. I, I learned early on that the world conspires for or against you based upon your mindset. And you have a winner's mindset, right? So some people call it emotional intelligence, what you will, but that formula, people fail that formula, not the formula, right? And the other thing I would say is what you focus on expands, choose wisely, right? I started in the business, the, the version of leads in 1996 were orphan clients. When you started in the life insurance business in the 90s, they'd give you a stack of, Cleveland, I'm from Cleveland, I'm a Midwesterner, they'd give you a stack of 10,000 orphan clients in Cleveland property. Agent had sold them, agent told the company, nobody, they don't ever want to talk to us again, and the newbies came in and called them. <clears throat> and it sucked. But it was a lot of large numbers. I hit MDRT my first year in the business because I was relentless. So I was like, I need to make this. I got two kids, I got a mortgage, and I'm F if I don't figure this out. And it was straight commission back then. So you're an amazing example for these folks. I just want to thank you for that. Um, so I wanted to open up with that. The other thing I want to open up with is I am not here to displace that process. See, that's what nobody else that you have coming here from a carrier can say that. You know, and, and if you understand the life insurance business, I've been doing this a long time. Somebody tell me on average what they think the life insurance industry has grown the last 20 years every year. What is it statistically grown every year? 10%. Flat. flat. It's been flat. But every year, companies have 10, 12% growth plans. How do you think they do that? Because they need them. They hit those goals. What do they do? They trade pain. They steal share. It's like my rider's better here, my rider's better. I don't want to do that. I'm not here to trade pain. Now, I'm going to have a product in about six months that I'll trade some pain. But we are. Mark, Mark Mead said it incredibly well. When I, he's, a, you know, he studied to be a chef, so that's probably why you guys got along so well. He said he sat back on his chair and he goes, "I got it. You guys are the sauce that goes with every steak." I was like, well, "What do you mean by that? I love the analogy, but I love sauce. I love steak. What are you talking about?" He said. Our greatest enemy is time, right? It takes time to go knock on those doors. If you're driving from point to point, you got, I guarantee you everybody who's successful says they work really, really hard. I also guarantee there's a lot of dead time. When you're thinking about how you're gonna fail, when you're figuring out your plan, right? We are the, the filler for that time. So when you think about ethos, and I'm gonna get into what we are and why I chose to come here. We are the way to automate yourself to drive accretive revenue while you're doing that process. So, so I'm not here to displace that process. What I'm here to do is to make you another 60 grand a year on top of that process. You know, I mean, how do, technology is a way to, it's all about efficiency. Your greatest asset is time. So we are the greatest efficiency tool you'll ever, ever have at FFL. Um, and that's why Sean was like, I need my agents to have access to everything out there. And we're the Amazon of your of your sales motion so i'm going to talk about how now so i i, I wanted to talk about um, several things here today uh, i talked about time i'll talk about the product i'll talk about the process and i'll tell you how to deploy it all right who here has any idea what our company is anything no that's not very good that, that's that's you know what, what, is, what, wait, what your company is yeah what is our company Yep. We're actually a we're actually a technology company. Um, so this will tell you what we are. Um, I want to get to the good stuff here. This is why I don't this is why I don't do PowerPoints. Uh, 
I want to get our buy box, because so that, that to me is going to show you what we do. All right, cool. So we're a technology company. So our founders were a couple Stanford guys who one of them had bought life insurance at like 20. It was a whole life policy that he had no idea what he bought or why he bought it. One of his college buddies from Penn sold it to him. So these two brilliant guys were like, hey, this whole industry is broken. What are we gonna do? So it started with building a technology portal. So, so the first thing you wanna think about with Ethos, is every one of you in this room if you've been with FFL any period of time, Corinne and the team at FFL have sent us your information. And what we did is we have this $100 million agent portal. So it's this, it's, age, it's an agency in a box that's online. You actually have, if you've been with the company and they've sent us that information, you have a live portal that you can go in there and you've got your own unique URL that is your own bespoke app You've got your own product, you've got all the digital marketing campaigns, you've got a, the ability to build a QR code. You have access for free, and that's usually the problem. When people have something for free, they don't use it. You've got access to a $100 million agency management system because of your affiliation with FFL. When did you guys start? How many years ago? 2017. Okay. So I can get into the history of the company in a second, but if you want, we're not. But, but you have that right now. And so you can deploy this to build a proprietary marketing program to add the sauce on top of that steak. So that imagine if you, and I'm just gonna give you one example, imagine you buy those 100 leads and you're amazing and you sell 30 of them. I mean, you're, you'd be pretty good, right? What happens to the other 70 leads? They showed some indication of interest, right? What if you created an automated campaign via email, text, where, where you just sent them, hey, I know I know we were trying to connect, you weren't interested, but you know, I partnered with Ethos, if you are interested in life insurance, click this link, and in 12 minutes, they'll own a policy. So we started out as a technology company. Well, what did the tech build? So the portal is the, is the kind of the foundation of it. They also went out to life insurance carriers and they said, hey, how you guys have been doing this is totally horrible. Simplified issues, great. Um, I, I've worked for carriers. I ran U.S. distribution, national account distribution for John Hancock. I rolled out the simple term Hancock product for, for FFL. Uh, I, I ran the team that did that. But carriers, they move like the Titanic after its sight, right? And that's nothing against them, but technology companies can move really quickly. So we have a tech platform. We also went and we found seven products where we built proprietary products we, we built the underwriting engine using 300,000 data points on every U.S. consumer so that as a consumer comes into our app, which is just a URL link, um, in 12 minutes they go through reflexive questions, whether they're 300 pounds and they got type 2 diabetes or they're a 40-year-old triathlete, they're going to get the right amount and type of coverage instantly in 12 minutes. Uh, do you guys have a CRM system set in place? Or for example, so I know you mentioned about the 100 leads, right? You end up purchasing, so we have- You, you can load leads into our portal. Okay. Now, will those leads, if they go online to purchase a policy and so forth, how will we know about that? Because you're in your portal, which I'm not gonna get into in great detail today, it shows you everything. Steve pulled up his portal, it shows you every status on every policy, every person that's clicked a link, it's in your portal. Yeah, if they purchase, and it's your own unique URL. Oh, but they have to go to URL, but well, they- Yeah, you, but you send them your unique URL as you send that lead out. Um, and when they click and, and, and close it, um, it pays you. Here's the other thing, just to deviate for 30 seconds. Andrew Taylor, you guys ever heard of Andrew? So, integrity partner, he's really kind of who helped us launch this partnership. He called me like two weeks into our partnership, and he's like, hey man, you're trying to steal my clients. We wouldn't do that, but what do you tell? What, what happened? <laughs> and he's like, I sent out the URL. One of my agents sent out the URL. They didn't complete the app. The, somebody from Ethos called them and closed the case. I was like, Oh, I said, Yeah, that's what we do, man. He's like, What? I said, Yeah, we we call if they start the application. We've got a lifecycle communications plan where we'll call them. We'll close the case for that agent. Agent gets paid. And I can attest to it. I was in a house two weeks ago. They called literally right after I put it. 
to make mm -hmm. sure that like the result was good. And was so, and two weeks ago, an agent in Wyoming had that happen. We actually got a referral to another client from that client that we closed, made the agent nine grand. So the referral got attributed to the agent too. I mean, who else is doing that for you? It's pretty slick, right? So, so we built this incredible proprietary underwriting engine. So we've got a digital platform, an application engine that takes about 12 minutes. Paul McLean, I think it took him 12 minutes while we were training his leadership team to buy $2 million of insurance. Dude, he's, just done. he's like, dude, it's, it's done. And oh, by the way, how many middle Americans um, take the time and spend the money to get a will, trust, durable power of health care, any of them? How many of you have it? You don't have to raise your hands. Okay, good. You start to raise your hands. It's good. Yeah, I spent like five grand on my wills and trusts. I mean, that was expensive. Free to a policyholder. We acquired Tomorrow, which is a free wills, trust, durable power of health care company in February or January of last year. It's free to, to our policyholders. It's pretty cool, right? Uh, in middle America, see, I grew up, my dad was a welder, I had four siblings. Nobody was calling on my dad. Nobody door knocked us because we lived in the middle of nowhere in Southern Ohio. That's who this is for. This isn't for me now, right? The people are calling me now. This is, this is who this is built for. So the whole premise, and I think that that's a philosophy comment of our founders, is democratizing the acquisition of life insurance, which is what FFL is all about, family first, for people who normally aren't going to get taken care of. I mean, somebody making 750 grand a year does not have to fill out a mortgage card, right? Typically, right? Because they've got their Morgan Stanley broker, they've got their private banker, they've got, most, most Americans don't have that. And that's why I love, that's actually why I came to the company because we have democratized the acquisition of insurance for every American. Um, so we've got this proprietary underwrit underwriting engine we've built with carriers. Um, the client checks out and Immediately, and there's a, an admin platform for the client to self-serve, and you can see everything that the client has. So let me just show you the product. I gotta get to that. I hate these PowerPoints. Sorry, Steve. Before I get to that, there's three things that you have to do before you before you leave for everybody watching. Um, most agents haven't gone to their portal, okay? So number one, we've created all 50,000 FFL portals. You have to go into the portal and start playing around with it. Um, and then once you do that, you learn how it works, just start targeting clients, selling leads. Um, so you just have to go to this agents.ethoslife.com and you'll have your own dashboard. Now when you get in there, you can build Steve's insurance shaft, you can put your picture on there. You, when a client sees that link, they're going to think you literally spent thousands of dollars building this because um, it's going to look like your own insurance agency in there. But this is what you have to do. To, 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 your, to your point, you're not going to sell anything if you don't do this. And the way I think you view our product is do what Steve said. I never knew the burner phone thing, by the way. That was freaking cool. Um, but run your business, run the play that he's designed for, for, for your organization. And then with everything else you don't sell, build a social profile, create a QR code. I mean, think about it. Imagine if you had a QR code on the bumper sticker of your car that said, if you want life insurance, click here. In 12 minutes, you can own life insurance. If you sold two policies a month if pe for people who were to stop, like, holy shit, I want life insurance. You get a tattoo on your forehead. Nice. <laughs> yeah, no tattoos. But uh, I, would, I would be amused. I'd pay for it. Uh, but that, that's the key. The first thing you got to do is, is go in and, uh, and just build your profile. Um, the, the, for some reason, Steve, it doesn't have our, our waterfall. But let me just explain the waterfall to you. So in our product suite, We've got LGA Banner. So Banner is the largest seller of term insurance in the United States. 
um, year in and year out. They're an A-rated, amazing carrier. So we've got $2 million of LGA Prime. So if you've got a reasonably healthy 20, 30, 40, even 50 year old, they can get prime term insurance. And what happens is as they come into this process, we've got Ameritas, which is an A-rated mutual company. We've got a subprime product with Ameritas and LGA. And then we've got Senior Life and CUNA True Stage on the back end for final expense and guaranteed issue. So in that waterfall, we have 95% approval. Any way you guys are going to have any type of a guaranteed issue for anybody under age 40? Um, any? Possibly. Yeah. I mean, well, it's a great call out because in 2017 when the company launched, we, all we had was a million dollar term product. In, in, a, you know, in the last two years, we've expanded that to seven products. We're going to be adding an IUL product this year. We're going to be improving our final expense products. So that you'll have an instant issue IUL product. You'll have a better FE product stack. So our, you know, I said this to Steve and his office earlier, Amazon started with books. Now we're, we're not gonna end up having a product suite like Amazon, but I don't think anybody, when they were looking at Amazon V1 thought, oh, they're gonna get into our business. Best Buy wasn't thinking that. But we're gonna continue to expand that buy box. What was your name, Ann? I'm Ann. That's, we'll say that again? Ann. And so uh, we're going to expand that buy box to meet your needs digitally. Uh, so that'll continue to improve. The actual products that are through Ethos is the term and what else? That term, are FE, and GI. That are, that so you have term, you have prime term, subprime terms, FE, and GI. Okay. Yeah. Do any of yours have living benefits or not? No, we're working on that. So that's, that's been a huge call out. People have wanted living benefits. Our IUL will have living benefits, which will be huge. What is that coming up in IUL? Um, our hope is Q2. You know, we, we hired, we have some pretty incredible talent that we brought in to help co-design that. So we, we have a whole product development team that works with the carriers to leverage our underwriting engine on their paper. So we are not a carrier. We're not paying death claims. We're the TPA that, that facilitates that, but it's not our paper. That's really important. Somebody just clicked the link and then they they could put in their info and then the website will basically tell them what they can qualify for? Yeah, it literally takes them through, asks them reflexive, what's your name? Mike. Mike, it takes them through reflexive questions. Now, there's a lot of ways you can engage us. We have agent assist capabilities, Mike, so if you're talking to a client like Steve sent one to a client the other day, so you knew what he wanted, he couldn't meet with you or something happened, but you're just like, hey man, I don't, I don't know exactly what you I did. I actually think it was a call transfer and I pissed him off, and then I sent him the link from the burn, no. and yeah, he did it himself. 220 a month. 220 a month. And I didn't even realize, I went on my port, I was like, oh damn. So technically <laughs> you can bring somebody from an advertisement. That's actually, yeah, to the that's link. exactly, so, yeah. so that's one of the things I was gonna talk about is, we are on a digital marketing agency. Well, so we're in a, you're in a good so that's place. why I'm yeah. trying to figure this out. So, <laughs> so you essentially have the capacity now. So the, the genesis of our company is direct to consumer. So what is direct to consumer? Right? It's it's disintermediation of agencies because originally they were like, you know, that's what they thought they were going to build exclusively, uh, Peter and Lincoln. And then, you know, they came to me because they realized nine out of ten sales happen through an agent. Right? I'm like, well, you can't. You're never gonna truly grow if you don't do business with agents. I mean, I'm just right. telling you straight what, how that kind of transpired. Um, but in essence, we're able to create a D2C company with you. So if you went out into social, you create Instagram presence, there are, there are dozens of agents that if you go to their YouTube channels or Facebook po posts, literally they're just like, hey, are you interested in life insurance? I've partnered with Ethos, it's got their QR code there. Um, it's just out there constantly. So you, you know, because what do we do? We, we spend millions and mil millions of dollars on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, and clients just click on it. They're like, oh my God, I, I literally just bought life insurance. It took, it took me 10 minutes. Essentially, it's a glorified affiliate program. Um, yeah, I mean, it, in essence, that has attribution for you. Right. Cool. So how, how many carriers do you guys have right now? Um, so we've got a Merrillite, uh, not a Merrillite, yeah, I like, I like, yeah, I know that company. I almost said a Merrillite, I don't know why I did that. 
We've got LGA Banner, Emeritas, that's what I was trying to say, True Stage and Senior Life. Okay. Yeah. And we're, we're always talking to carriers. The carriers are calling us, we're calling carriers, uh, but we have very specific kind of expectations of what we're looking for in partnership. Uh, to leverage our tech, it has to be instant, right? Because that's kind of the secret sauce, getting it in 12 minutes. Because when I started, I mean, I said this in Steve's office earlier, when I started as an agent selling uh, orphan clients, I would sell them, it would be about a 16 week turnaround by the time we got manual APS to send. The, the, the person went out and did the medical, and this wasn't for like a $2,000 a month policy, this was for like a $25 a month policy. And then in week 15, they'd call up and say, ah, you know, I changed my mind. I'm like, like, you make no money. I mean, people don't get paid every week now, they freak out, right? You truly walk the work both ways. Up the Literally, we were getting paid quarterly <laughs> for an hour. Like, like, so you had to have, our deal was, I never left the office unless I had 10 appointments the next week. So that was Friday, Thursday, Saturday morning, kids were playing in the boardroom. Like, you had to have constant flow coming in because you were, or else you would never get paid. Um, and there wasn't express commissions back then either. So it was a lot of, ad I mean, so you had to really kill yourself to, to make it in the business. How does the, the payment process with emails work? Because of the FFL partnership, we do 100% express commission. Yeah, so, but. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, Sean works some pretty amazing magic with us. Um, and, and, you know, I know the power of this organization. So how do you make 60 grand with us, <clears throat> right? How do you make 600? 600 grand? Yeah. I think the way to make 600 would be to build a team that does this with you. Like, you'd need, I mean, look, if you created a, 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 like, I'm going to meet with somebody next week who's got, like, 2 million followers, I, I think they could make 600 in, in six months, just because they've got influence, right? The, the, le the, the way to get to that type of quantum number is just leverage. So you'd have to have an amazing digital presence, you'd have to have an automated system that sent out the links to people, uh, but it, it absolutely could be done. Uh, you know, when I was telling Mark Mead, I mean, he's got 3,100 agents, and, and this really, this won't happen probably, but I'm a visionary. Like, I like building things. This is the second startup I've done. I think nothing great happens with a closed mind. Right? Like, nothing great happens when you think, like, okay thoughts. I think you have to think extraordinary thoughts to create extraordinary results. Has anybody ever read Think and Grow Rich? Mm -hmm. yes. I read, I finished it on the way here. Like, I've been reading it the last couple of flights. And the thing about it is, is these vibrations in the world conspire for you when you think the right way. And so what I told Mark, I was like, hey, look, you got 3,100 agents. If you wrote one ethos app a week, our average case size is a thousand bucks. How much do you think you would write an ethos business this year? Anybody know that number? Anybody doing the math? <laughs> 161 million. 161 million. Now, if he hits 10% of that, is he happy if he has 16 million? To his downline, right? How many agents work with you? Uh, writers, about 150. Okay, so 150 times four. Let's just say it's 100. Say, say 400 times a thousand, 400,000 a month. Would that help your business? Sure would. <laughs> so think about it. Think if we can create a system, Steve, that automates the marketing of your leads with our link, and you get one of those 70 to buy each week and you didn't do any work, you didn't drive anywhere, you didn't knock on any doors, all of which we don't want to disrupt. Oh, and, and I'm gonna sound like the, the, the ShamWow guy, but wait, there's more. <laughs> we actually just launched last week on ILC the Ethos Leads. So Steve, I don't know if you've bought any yet. I have, yeah. But, so we have hundreds of thousands of consumers that come into our funnel direct. We don't close the vast majority of those. But these are clients who clicked on the link, many of which put their social security number in. Would you consider that a high intent lead? Right? But, you know, they're, they, had a, they had a question. They wanted to talk to somebody. We don't do that. 
the dog bark, the Amazon delivery truck came, they, they, they got out of the system. Because it's only 12 minutes. And how many, how, how much you sell the police for? Ten dollars. We have, I think, sitting in there right now, north of 11,000 open leads to buy. How I, I, I would consider that high intent leads? leads. Yeah, I would consider that high intent lead. Yeah. So you call them up and it's like, hey, look, I know you started the app. By the way, I don't care if you sell Americo or F&G or I don't care. I just want to get somebody insured because I'm going to monetize the lead. We'd love for it to be ethos, but again, I'm not trying to display share. I want to grow the business. I want to insure more Americans. And that philosophy, this, this is another really important point, when you operate under that premise of something greater than just a base economic goal, good things happen. Where's your income stream coming from? Well, we make money on the sale of the product. We get a big on the sale of the product. We are a, a full service TPA, so the carriers pay us to be the TPA. That's, that's, our, that's our economic engine. Really quick, so um, because as you go through the for, to the process and everything else, it asks specifically the income and how much do the potential clients make per year. You purchase those leads, are you able to also determine uh, what type income, of product? What kind of, you know, yeah, so there's, I don't know the exact uh, totals of what we share from the lead. Um, I think it's basic information because there's obviously, you know, uh, limits to how much we would share because that lead put in there just we're not so you know we're not sharing the social security number i'll tell you that mm -hmm. I mean, we'd have like companies from bangkok buying the leads uh, sell it on the black market but yeah so we give you the basic information from the consumer um but i can get more information on the leads if you want but it's i think i forget what the name of it is uh, they're not called the ethos leads we wanted to test them first uh, i think they're called abandoned something high intent abandoned what, do, you, do you know what they're called, Steve? I, I should know this. Oh, the actual leads? Yeah, the name I of them. I think they're called the ethos leads. Right? They're not called the ethos leads. They're not. No, they're, um, I think it's called abandoned something. Yeah, right? abandoned <laughs> leads. So it's, it's uh, but that's what it is. It's a, it's a direct, so we try and market them for five days. That's the sad name of that movie. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> it's like they abandoned their application. Yeah. So that's, yeah. to me, that's high intent, especially, yeah. like, I bought five of them, and they had, like, three of them had a social on it. Like, that's... Oh, you purchased five people? I purchased questions? five just to see. And then there was like three with social fun. So I was like, it will yeah. sound, we'll sound better on finished business. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice on finished business. But, but look, I mean, we've had amazing success with them. I mean, there's another partner, another integrity member firm that we've tested it with. Now it's an ILC. Um, and, and we've got one, one organization in this other place that has bought. I think 200,000 worth of leads because they, they're, they're like, I can't get enough. They're, they're that good. They eat those leads. Yeah. Where do we go to buy them? Is there a on ILC? ILC, yeah. yeah. So we work with Andrew and, and with Jordan to, to put them on there. And, they, and, and all the new leads we're sending in there each week are getting ingested, but there's a, there's a, a backfill of like, I want to say 8,000 leads that are sitting there. So. Yeah, it's titled in the ILC as Fresh Abandoned Cart Insurance Lead. That's the yeah. Fresh Abandoned Cart. But but that, you know, and I, I know we got to get me off of here, Steve, but the, the thing I would, I would leave you with this is that it takes everything you're going to have to succeed with the playbook that, that Steve talked about. If you do that, what, what he didn't tell you is is there's a little gap between that 5,000 and the conversion percent. And what do you think that is? Spending five grand to the conversion percentage. What do you think, that, what, is, what is in that gap right between those two things? Hard work. You, yeah, that's the variable. The variable is you. You either got it or you don't. But if you add us into that system, as an automation tool, like how much more time would it take you to load the leads in, send the, your URL out to those folks instead of calling those 70 people 16 times with four burner phones for the next two months? Both of which would work, right? But, uh, you know, I think that's pretty, that's pretty incredible. And that's how you'd make 60 grand a year. You Most people work. respond to text messaging anyway. What's that? Most people respond to text messaging rather than calls. 
Yeah, you got issues with the death call lists as long as you follow the protocol, you know you're a marketing company. So, I'm, you know, that's the, by the way, side note, that's the lawsuit du jour right now. So just make sure your DNC call lists are, 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 are pretty tight. But you can send it out via, you know, like, hey, you know, I know you were interested, you know, click this link here. But the bottom line is just, I would just ask you guys, I think we're trying to get the message out that we're the sauce on the stake. And if you do it, you'll make 60 or 600 in addition to your core business. And that can keep some people in the business, right? Like one of our partners had a 14 day challenge for their newbies where they had to send it out to all their friends and family. And the one, this one 21 year old made like 17 grand in two weeks. He didn't meet with anybody. And now he's good. Right? How many leads can he buy with 17 grand? Puts 30% away for taxes, 30% away for, for uh, churn, takes the rest and takes half of it to live off of and doubles down, buys leads. So, well, obviously, you know, those leads that you go there definitely have to have the email. For, for that yeah, that's all the core. The other ones that you have to know, have to win as you can't can do anything with those. <laughs> you can Ours see. have the contact information. Yeah. Yeah, and you can take non-ethos leads into your portal too. So, yeah, okay. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me, Buck. Do you have any more? I don't want to. No, no, no. We're no, no. going nowhere. Look, I, I mean, the key is just. I mean, I'll start. I'll, I'll stop where I started. Like, if, if you, if you open your mind to receive that message, good things will happen. Right. I, I was driving with. Um, Mike Killamet yesterday, and he said, so you gotta think about this last statement as it relates to you today. And he said, agents are gonna go to conference next week and they're gonna write, they're gonna wanna write down 50, 60, 70 things, and they're not gonna do shit. Very true. He goes, the smart ones will go there knowing where their breakage is and kill themselves to get that breakage solved. So I don't know what your breakage is, and let me just be very clear, if it's not selling enough, if it's, if it's that you sell enough life insurance, you may not need us. But most agents wanna sell more life insurance. So if you wanna build accretive revenue on top of what he described to open the meeting, this will work. Not may work, will work. But just like with the system that Steve talked about, the difference between what I talked about and that 60 grand is what? Is you. Are you willing to build the automation systems to send this out, to automate it, to get it in your workflow? If you do, unbelievable things will happen. And, and, and look, we're gonna continue to add better products. We're not stagnant. These guys are crazy intense um, in a good way. And I just love building things. Um, and I love building it with great people. So it's an honor to be here. I guess that's the best business.